Galset lab at, at uh, Caltech, the Guggenheim Aeronautics Lab, was one of the leading places in the world uh, for aeronautics re uh, research. As a student, my father earned his way through college working in the wind tunnel, uh, helping run it and build some of the models of wooden models of wings and propellers that were tested in the wind tunnel. Um, but around that time, he came into contact with uh, uh, three other people um, who infected him with the idea of uh, building rockets uh, for the exploration of space. Maybe it was destiny, maybe it was coincidence. Maybe Jack Parsons, Ed Foreman, and Frank Molina understood or believed that there was something historic about their introduction on the quad that day in 1935. Frank Molina had been working on a paper about the possibility of rockets taking man to space. When he finished high school, he went to the, one of the local colleges, Texas A&M, which is now a university, uh, did an undergraduate degree in mechanical engineering at Texas A&M. And it was there that one of his teachers um, uh, detected some uh, real uh, engineering capability in, in my dad and recommended that he go try and get a scholarship to Caltech in, in Pasadena. Um, and there, uh, his PhD th advisor, he was very lucky, was a man called Theodore von Kármán, uh, who was usually credited with being one of the most eminent applied, math applied mathematicians of the last century. There were several students there under the tutelage of Dr. Theodore von Kármán, who was the head of the aeronautics department at Caltech. And these students were very much interested in rocketry, and there wasn't a lot going on in those days. There was Dr. Robert Goddard, who a lot of us have all heard of, but he was also kind of an eccentric scientist and didn't really know, didn't really want to share much of his information. What Jack Parsons, Ed Foreman, and Frank Molina wanted was to test a rocket. To test a rocket, they knew they had to build one first. To build a rocket, they had to convince one of the most brilliant minds in science to take a chance believe in them, and champion their research at Caltech. Von Karman was a respected and curious Hungarian who would receive 33 honorary degrees and titles, 10 decorations and orders, and 35 other awards, including the first United States Medal of Science presented to Von Karman by President John F. Kennedy. Simply by waking up every morning, he was one of the smartest men in the world. Von Karman was not given over to being easily impressed, but something about the young group of stubborn enthusiasts struck this genius as special on that day. Was it their strong-willed dedication to the art of science? Was it Molina's eloquent formulas and well-presented proposal? Was it Foreman's practical understanding of complex rocket engineering? Was it Parsons' almost comical refusal to accept no as an answer? Or his excitement or contagious enthusiasm? So the group of four, the, the four of them got uh, excited about the idea of uh, designing and building rockets. Um, and my father went to von Kármán with this proposal. It was kind of a nutty idea at the time because all the, all the good students at Galset were of course trying to get jobs in the, in the airplane industry, in the aeronautics industry, uh, which was a big deal there in, in the LA basin. And so the idea to do a PhD thesis on rocket design was, was really pretty nutty. Jack Parsons, Ed Foreman, and Frank Molina had not only convinced the director of the Guggenheim Family Graduate Aeronautical Lab at Caltech, or Galset, to legitimize their rocket studies, they had also landed after hours use of the chemistry lab. Molina, a graduate student at Caltech, changed his thesis to rocket design. Parsons and Foreman officially unaffiliated to Caltech, could pour, produce, mix, build, and engineer to their heart's content. The group, under the nurturing guide of Dr. Von Karman, was to design a high-altitude sounding rocket propelled by either a solid or liquid propellant rocket engine. Their official name would be the Gausset Rocket Research Group. <laughs> 